Hello, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this video, we are starting with another unit that is unit 3 of your MMPC course, which is titled as Socio Cultural and Politico Legal Environment. This is going to be another two part video session, and in this first session, we will talk about the socio cultural environment, and in the next session, we will talk about the politico legal environment. So Every business operates within a certain kind of environmental surrounding, right? And that is termed as the business environment. And what do we know about business environment so far? We know many things. From the nature and scope of business environment, we know many things. And the most important thing is that business environment is never stagnant. It keeps on changing. It keeps on evolving. Therefore, it is, becomes very important to monitor the changing events in the environment on a continuous basis as well. So in this session, we will understand the impact of the social and cultural environment and the changes in social cultural environment on business. So some of the topics that we will be talking about will be on how to understand or gathering a basic understanding of what social or cultural environment is, what are the elements that make up the socio-cultural environment, as well as the recent changes that we have observed in social and cultural environment. So let us get started without wasting more time, right? So again, social environment. When you hear this term social environment, what do you understand or what comes into your mind? Social environment is one of the elements of the macro environment of a business. Micro being the internal environment, macro is the outside one right it comprises of social institutions relationships beliefs and even social structure of the society and in terms of business the social environment of an organization will include things like the social values of our workforce along with the society within which the organization is currently functioning so everything the beliefs the attitudes the customs and all the practices that are followed in the society the social class, the lifestyle, preferences, social communities, social institutions, education, culture, even the government has a role to play in the social environment. So as an exercise, I want you to just try to think of a few instances where such social factors like maybe it is your attitudes or beliefs or the particular social class that you belong to or maybe the lifestyle that you are leading, any such thing. Okay, have influenced your purchasing decisions and let us know about those in your in the comment section of this video. So I request you all to sincerely take this up, take five minutes, think about it and comment below. Please do this as a practice for quoting examples that might even be required for your term and examination. Because if a question comes about social or cultural environment, socio-cultural environment, it will be best to quote it with an example. This is something which I stress always. Wherever, whenever possible, I stress this. It is very important, guys. When you're writing your answer for term and examination, make sure that you also quote relevant examples. Whether the question asks it or not, doesn't matter. You quote with examples. That will help you score good marks. Okay. So the next aspect that we will be talking about in this session is about the cultural environment. So culture. What is culture? How do we explain or define culture? It is very difficult, right? To just pinpoint a definition for culture is quite difficult. It is quite challenging. But one thing what we can say is that it is a complex combination of many things like the morals, the customs, the law, art, belief, knowledge, and any habits that could be acquired by an, any individual member of a particular society is a part of the culture of that society. So it is something that is embedded in the way of life of the people belonging to a particular society. So in other words, we can say that culture is a product of social interactions among humans and it could determine the human behavior too. So cultural environment is concerned with the culture within which the organization operates and includes the culture of its target market as well as the workforce. So if the company is operating in a totally different culture which has no link toward to the culture of the people that they are serving or the employees that they employ, it is going to be very difficult for the firm to thrive there, right? So cultural environment 
again contains a number of important elements like the knowledge and belief of both your target market as well as your workforce, the religion, language, ethnicity, all these things become quite important. If you guys can think of any examples on how cultural environment could affect your purchasing decisions or even have affected your purchasing decisions, do let us know in the comment section. Again, take this as an exercise for or as a practice for your term and examination. All right. So, in the current scenario, how is the social or socio-cultural environment affecting businesses? In many different ways. Only a few we are mentioning over here. But I am sure you would be able to think of much, much more current situations where socio-cultural environment is affecting our purchase decisions or the current recent trends are affecting our purchase decisions or even how businesses operate today. Right? For example, fashion trends. This is one very easy to spot thing. Fashion trends keep on changing every few years. You think about it, the especially girls will relate to it, right? What type of kurti or what type of pants or what type of sari design was in trend last year is out of fashion now. Now it is a new trend. Anushka is wearing a new type of shoe, uh, new type of dress, right? Shraddha is wearing a new type of watch, things like that, right? So what might be popular even 10 years ago or even just last year might not be popular today anymore. Similarly, social media. Social media influence is rapidly increasing with such trends, right? Such changes also lead to a shift in the consumer preferences and attitudes. If your favorite influencer is has bought something or is um, you know promoting some product, chances are that you will also tend to favor such things, right? Social media is also a big influence these days. Similarly, social cultural elements are raising concern around the gender issues also, which has forced organizations to incorporate equal policies and practices for male and female employees. Like for example, more and more organizations are taking it serious to provide paternity leaves. Maternity leaves were definitely a thing, but nowadays paternity leaves are also quite normal. Similarly, a rise in population which has resulted in a constant need of urbanization, even in India. Even small, small villages are turning into, uh, what you can say, upgrading themselves into at least small, small townships, right? If not major cities. So India, again, being a multi-diversity nation with mixed cultural race, in order to deal with people from different cultures, again, one has to be very careful about their business practices. So communication style, management style, all these things, since they vary among different cultures, we should be very, very careful. So it is not like earlier MNCs which used to operate in various nations need to think about multi-diversity. But nowadays it is not like that. You start something up in Kerala. It's not just Keralaites who are going to come and work, right? Or you start something in Mumbai. It is not just Mumbaikers who are going to work there. People from all across the nation would be applying for positions there. So manage and everyone, India is like many countries in one, right? Many, each state or even each district has their own distinct practices, socio-cultural practices. So it is as good as managing an MNC in India if you set up a business. So all these things affect our businesses. So these are the current scenario of social-cultural environment. So I hope you guys got a basic understanding of what social environment is, what cultural environment is, what are the various elements that make them up as well as the current scenario of how the current social or cultural environment is affecting businesses. So don't forget about the little little practice exercises that I've been take, talking about in this session. Do I am definitely eagerly waiting for your comments. So I hope this session was useful to you. We will catch up in the next session where we'll be talking about the political legal environment. So until I see you there, it's goodbye for now.